Hello, and this is going to be a weird, uh, uh, different video because I'm in two cameras. Part of this is because um, I teach a class on dealing with fasteners, and I didn't see a lot of good stuff online about how to identify what a fastener is, um, at least in the way we talked about in class. So um, what I want to talk about is how we use a tool like this. And, it's, and for some of you that are seeing this, you're like, well, this should be pretty simple. But you'd be surprised in this day and age. Uh, my first job was at a hardware store uh, filling the Hillman bins. And, you know, many, 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 many people do not understand uh, the different types of fasteners and what uh, this looks like. Okay. So I got two tools. This is one tool. This will help you identify the, the diameter of the fastener, the length of the fastener, um, and I'll give you a guide on the thread type here. But you would have to count it out in order to know for sure. Um, it does give you a little bit of a ruler, both in, in, in uh, SAE, American Standard, and Metric. Um, it has both the American units here and, and the metric units on top, and the way for you to check nut sizes. So, like, for instance, here's a, here is a nut that I have. This is a regular old hex nut. I can slip it on here and try to figure out what size it is. Okay, this is probably 3 eighths, and since it's only coming to the halfway point, it says clearly right across the clearly right through the middle there. If it fits over the shoulder, it's coarse, and it shows on uh, wrong side right there. Yeah. If it just fits on, then it's coarse. So this is a um, a coarse nut. And normally, then at this point, I would check the um, uh, take a screw and screw it on just to see. Okay. But the other thing I have going on is this little doohickey right here. And both these I got from Fast and All. This one's a little bit more expensive. Between the two, I picked it up for 20 bucks, but that could be an um, uh, educational discount, so I can't promise for sure. But this here, and if you look in, this gives me the threads side, basically a guide for threads. Basically, give me all of these nuts in one foul swoop. It also gives me a, uh, a gauge for drill bits. So if you're like me, all the drill bits get mixed up, but this gives you kind of a, uh, a, a diameter on the back side. It gives you kind of the, uh, a, a tap and drill for each size as well um, for everything you need. So this is kind of nice. Um, nice little handy tool. Also gives me something to do with rivets. But again, I, you know, that just all depends. So, so how we can look at this, this will help me help give me a better idea how to identify the, 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 teeth per inch or the thread type, okay? So I got some various bolts sitting here on my table, which I'll bring up. The first one, you know, first one here, you can see these are hex nuts, uh, these are hex bolts. And if you can kind of see, let me see if I can get this uh, zoomed in really good. You can see that this is, this is a coarse thread and this is a fine thread. They're about the same size. So how do we identify this? What are the steps to identifying these bolts? Okay, first things first, let me go through and start pushing, you know, kind of let's start pushing it through. So it's not five sixteenths. Hey, three, this fits pretty good, but here's what I would always check. Even if it fits well, go up to metric and see, well, this is a little sloppy. This is a little sloppy because you never know. Occasionally there's a couple of these that are really close cousins, but look, th this is three eighths. Well, what's its length? We take it up. Take it. We take it, we take it and measure it from the top here, right where it intersects. And this is roughly a half inch long. So this is three eighths, this is three eighths. But hey, remember this nut was three eighths? Let's see if it goes on. Oh look, this is three eighths coarse thread. We knew that. Three eighths fine thread when would not would not um, screw on. So sorry if you're getting dizzy from the camera, but this helps you see. Okay. But let's try it in our little screw thread gauge okay so here is a 3 8 and this is the coarse thread coarse thread let's see if it goes goes through i'm gonna just oh it won't go that way but let's take a look and you can see it's coming coming through 3 8 and the thread type is 16. So if I was going to look for the screw in the hardware store, this would be 3 8 uh, 3 8 by 6, uh, 3 8 16, uh, 3 8 16 thread, and it's a half inch long. Hex head bolt. That's the proper name. This here would be my fine thread, and this would be a 24 
thread. And if I, it's hard to do this and look five different ways, but let me do it. Ready? Come on. Do it with my right hand, not my left hand, because I'm right hand dominant. But you can see the fine thread sticking through, and make sure it goes all the way in. And let's see, you can see it right there. There you go. So, um, so we know that these that so I hex head half inch. This is three. This is three eighths by sixteen. Three eighths twenty four, um, and that's these screws. If you see something that looks like this. This is called a pan head. The nice thing about this is it allows it to be flush, but the big difference between something like this, this, and this, and by the way, this is probably a pan head machine screw. Okay, pan head machine screw. Usually, if it's got a head like this, they usually call it a machine screw. This is a bolt because it's got the hex head. Um, but again, I can ch test this out. So let me go into my little handy dandy little. So let me go metric. Doesn't really go in six. Really sloppy in seven. Let's go down to American. Um, really sloppy there, but man, this fits like a glove right here at one fourth. Okay, so it's probably one fourth. Let me measure its height, and we measure it like this. So if you take a look here, you can see I'm measuring it with the head in there, and this is a one inch screw. So it's a quarter, probably quarter twenty. And if you take a look, I'm gonna look here. It says quarter tw uh, quarter twenty, and I'm gonna try to thread this in and take a look. You can see it's threading through on the quarter 20. And this is a pan head screw. If you see something like this, this is called a cap head screw. Again, usually taken out with an Allen wrench. And in this case, I know that these threads are lining up completely. I know their diameter is good. So probably this is a is a quarter 20 because the threads are lining up almost exactly. If there was just a little bit of a misthread, so let me give you an example. So like this is a misthread. You can see it's not really jiving in. Um, this would be probably quarter 20. And, if I, and just to cheat it, that's another way. Of, it goes right in the quarter 20. But I still need to figure out the length. So let me go in my this little my little handy dandy little thing, and I again I can do a little tape measure throughout. I have a tape measure right here, and I can kind of line it up and and see. But this is a little bit better because I can can kind of line it up better. So if I go here and see, this is a one inch, and if I compare the two the cap screw and the the the, the cap screw and um, this screw, um, you can see they both measure one inch, and you can see how, they, how the, the threads line up at the bottom, or how they line up. So that's how we do the measurements. I know my hand, my fat hands are in the way, but I can't help it. All right, so, so those are identifying screw, but let's try to find a metric screw, or a metric bolt. So this is a, is a handy dandy little, you know, kind of, kind of fine, kind of whatever. So if I go in here, and let me do my little, you know, set, I can go do my little American. Here we go. Well, it, it kind of fits a, a quarter inch, but it's sloppy. You know, kind of, but it's a little sloppy. Let's try a metric. Not a seven. Whoa, that really fits well right there. Not quite a five. It's probably a six. Let's go to my little thread gauge checker. And let me find my metric six. And, and take a look. It goes in rather what it goes in and for all you michael scott fans i'm sure you're loving some of uh what i'm saying um but this is a metric it's a it's a, a, a quarter 20 is the a comparable size but you can see that the metric thread is a little bit more fine so compare that to a quarter 20 screw but here's where everyone gets mixed up especially if you don't think about this this these are roughly the same these are almost the same size correct almost but i measure this as an as one inch what do you think i should measure this as if you say anything to do with inches you're wrong because this is a metric size so because this gives me both millimeters and inches i need to measure this on the millimeter side of things 
And if I line this up, this is roughly probably 15 millimeters, maybe 16 millimeters. Um, so that's how you identify. So this would be a, a an M6, 16 millimeters with a with a 1.1 1 .1, uh, like a 0 0.1 thread count. So because uh, that coarse because and this is considered coarse thread, the thin the the for uh, metric. Okay. Again, these are both. Uh, so again, pan head screw, round head screw, because it's more rounded. All right. Both of these are are machine screws, but one, for some silly reason, they don't go down after a quarter inch. They start naming them ten, eight, six. Um, as you can see here, these are standard sizes. It confuses everyone, but they don't say like um, one sixteenth or something like that. But if you look at the you know, if you measure it, you would see maybe one's kind of like that. But, but if I want to identify this one, you know, here's an eight. You can see the eight right there. Measure the length. So probably eight thirty second by an in, by by three three quarter inches. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, three quarter inches. Check my little thread bolt. You know. And you can see what that looks like. I kind of feel like a makeup YouTuber right now. But those are the most, some of the most common bolts. You got other bolts like a carriage bolt here. Um, again, you identify all these the same way. You would measure from the, the head. Anything anything like this that has a flush head, you would measure from the, the head. If it's anything like pan head or oval head, you would measure from the reset here. And this little doohickey gives you a... Uh, a way of doing that with a recess, okay? Um, and there are multiple different non-threaded fasteners, but these are just threaded fasteners because these are, are by far the most common. And if you can get something like this, and usually most bins will run a, a one, run something through here so you can identify it. But if you know how to use this, you don't have to go through and start going, Dude, let me screw this nut on, or, you know, oh, I got three eighths nut, let me screw it on. Oh, was that fine thread or coarse thread? It's easy to forget. So, so, you know, I hope this was helpful and um, I'm, I thank you for your time.